In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the scan tab in a way that most thinkorswim traders simply don't know how to use. The scan tab has a wealth of information that you have access to. You can turn thinkorswim into basically your personal database that you'd like to run queries against. It's a very powerful tool. It's something that most traders would have to pay several thousand dollars every single month for, and we have it available to us inside of Thinkorswim, just sitting there waiting to be used. Now in today's video, the query that I'm going to be using, the practical real world example, is using the scan tab to help make, say, an option trader's dream come true. For all option traders, one of the major pain points that you have is recognizing which stocks have options associated with them. As in which stocks can you trade options on versus which stocks can you not? You even have, let's call it a basic liquidity filter. So maybe you want the average 50 day volume to be greater than a certain amount. You get the idea. You can essentially layer on your own personal filters based off of what you're looking at. In my example here, I want to build a watch list as an options trader of all stocks that have options and all stocks that have an average 50 day volume of let's say greater than 1 million as the average share volume. Now let's get started with building this filter in the scan tab. It's actually quite simple. To add the all optionable filter, I'm going to come up here in the scan in filter tab right here and there I'll select category and in category I'll select all optionable. Now, since we're looking for only stocks and not stocks and futures with options contracts, I'll intersect this with all stocks as another category. Now, if we run the scan button right off the bat, this gives us 4,361 stocks, which have options and are stocks. However, in this, you'll notice there's quite a few low volume stocks, ones like this one, where you have greater than 60K volume. Let's solve that by adding in a volume filter. So I'll select add filter there. I'll select study and here I'll select volume, average volume 50 as the default value simple for the simple moving average. And that should be greater than 1 million shares run this on the daily. And let's see how this number right here changes from 4,361 that now drops to 1,493 stocks that we see the 1493 stocks I'm going to paste them leaving the top row empty so we can add some column headers I'll paste in all of this data here and we can start by giving this a name optionable stocks now I don't really care to see the company name or the stock price or the volume or anything from really columns B through F if you'd like to leave them you're welcome to leave them in my case, I'm going to leave this sheet a little bit cleaner. So the CSV is a little bit lighter in terms of its weight. Now I'll save this as a CSV file and we can then come in and test how effective this CSV file is. In essence, we took this watch list here, this 1493 stocks, and we were able to easily transport it into a different platform, which accepts CSVs. And that is the power of thinkorswim. Now let me save this as a CSV and we can come in and test it inside of the ORB platform. All right, I've now saved the file. So this is where I've saved it. Let me minimize our Excel sheet. And now if I bring in our ORB setups watch list page, let's take the CSV that we just created and we can drag and drop that directly inside of the watch list tab. You'll see all of this data automatically filled if I maximize this screen. You can now see we have our watch list name, which is optionable stocks. We have every single stock that thinkorswim gave us. The scan tab allowed us to export all of this information, which we can readily make use of in other platforms like the ORB platform. And now if I click add watch list, we have very easily our optionable stocks watch list created. So instead of needing to manually sit here and input every single symbol, we let thinkorswim do much of the heavy lifting for us. We then inputted all of those stocks inside of the watch list CSV here, and that imported all of these stocks. Now, if I come into the scanner, for example, inside of our platform, I can select in the dropdown optionable stocks. And now all of a sudden I'm showing only the list of stocks that are showing opening range breakouts 
in the ones that have options that I can do anything with in the first place. The ones that meet our option filter and our volume filter. So just like that, we went from Thinkorswim leveraging some of their very basic filters. And we took that, we exported that as a CSV, which allowed us to do things in the end, finally, like say filter down an entire live scanner based on a watch list that Thinkorswim helped us create. That's the power and the magic of Thinkorswim ScanTab and how easy it is when say you can import in CSV to take that information and do something concrete and tangible with it. I hope you found today's video useful. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.